Hello and welcome back to our Free Space 1 Let's Play Poorly. We are finishing up, hopefully, the campaign here. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably going to be a mess. Uh, same as the last big missions, but yeah, we'll see. Alright everyone, we don't have much time. You've got to take out those reactors ASAP. Reactor 1, okay. Alpha 1, you've got to make sure those Ursas can deliver their payload. Protect them at all costs. Which ones are the frickin'... As for Delta Wing, it's going to be up to you to take out those reactors. Get it done! Target acquired. Breaking to attack. No. Uh, we're, everybody engage Engaging target. Enemy. Beta Wing destroys. Breaking successes. to attack. Okay. Beta wing that's got the... I don't even know. Alpha wing. Engaging the enemy. Engaging now, sir. Okay, that's the Hercules, that's Alpha. Okay, that's me. Don't know which ones are the... That's Beta, that's the Ulysses. Okay, that, uh... It's the Orsus. We want... Alright, no, no, that's not what we want. We want... Reactor 3 wings. Epsilon wings. Destroy that subsystem. Break into attack. This is probably going to go very poorly. Why can I not target Delta? We have Delta Wing. I don't know. All right. This is so freaky. That means I I don't know if it's gonna go well. Where are these reactors? How do I fight how do I do this? Can I do it? No. Reactor 1's down. Reactor 3 is going. Alright, all fighters. Um. No. Wings, Epsilon. Oh, that's already done. Uh. 
Alright, last one. Last reactor. Last reactor. Come on, man. I'm watching my bag. I mean, it's getting done without any assistance from me, honestly. Woo! Oh, backwash! that someone else was involved in getting that done because it wasn't going to be me. All right. Uh, is this it? were destroyed, and I know what they knew. I know that if not for the Shivans, they would have perished long before. Without the Shivans, someone would have discovered the Ancient Ones in their infancy, and eliminated them, just as surely as they eliminated countless billions of others. I believe it is only the Destroyers who are killed. The Shivans are the great destroyers, but they are also the great preservers. That is why, when we moved into space, there was no one powerful enough to kill us. Long had we been the destroyer, our turn had nearly come. In the Vasudan War, we learned how to adapt. We learned how to study our enemy. We learned how to overcome. We learned how to survive. And so we did. All the jump points from Earth are gone. But the Shivans can rebuild them. I'm told we can expect them again. But not in my lifetime. Such is liberation. Yay! Okay! Thanks for playing the free space port. Ah, lovely. And here are the credits. Okay, here we go. Yay! Ah. That took a time. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do now, but I guess that's the end of it. I mean, I know that's the end of it, but this is the end of it as for the original, I guess. There we go. Yeah. Lovely. So yeah, that's the free space open, free space port. Uh, a uh, 
an open source update to the engine for the for Free Space Two, and then backported for Free Space One, or rather Free Space One modded in, and uh, it's quite quite fantastic. So uh, we're gonna end the run here, but uh, I'm gonna spend the next few minutes because we've only done ten minutes in this episode. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time introducing you to the Nasus launcher and, and not Free Space Open so much, but the Nasus launcher and what's available there. Uh, because what we're going to do next is we're not going to go straight on to Free Space 2. We're going to play a couple of the, um, of the modded, like, sort of campaigns that were created by other, uh, modders making, you know, games in different universes. And the one that I'm going to do next, because I, I have to now, I've gone through it a couple of times, but I love it so much, is the Babylon 5 one. So, yeah, uh, I will come right back once I have prepped what I want to show you. Okay, so uh, let's get over to here. This is the Nosos Launcher. Uh, you can find it pretty easily online. Just do a search for Nosos Launcher, K-N-O-S-S-O-S -S 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 Launcher. Uh, there's a, a Windows version, a Linux version, and even a Mac version. You just need to have a copy of Free Space 2 on your computer. Ideally, you want the, the good old games version, the GOG version. That's the easiest to deal with. And then it kind of does the rest for you. So as you can see here, what we've been playing is the free sp free port FS port media VPs. The main one, the main big chonky mod for Free Space 2, which again is what FS Open was originally designed for, is this one here, the Free Space Upgrade Media VPs. Uh, so that will do the stuff for Free Space 2. If you are just playing the free space port without any of the media, like without any upgrades, you can do it from here. This one is the the one that we played here uh, with with the with all the updated stuff and all the cool um, things. Uh, then there is the game of the year mission pack that's in there. I added also main halls, which adds uh, like various visuals for the main screen. Then you can also just play the retail Free Space 2, which is the base game without all the upgrades and updates. And then you can see here we've got the Babylon project installed, which is, like I said, the next one that I'm going to do. Well, that's coming from here, Explore. And look at this. Look at this. Uh, just, I mean, we're not done yet. We're halfway there. We just keep on going. You keep on, keep, we just... It's still going, it's still going, and there we go. These are all of the available mods that Nasus can load for you. You just install it, and then you can play it. There's like 150 or thereabouts, and, they're, and not all of them are great, not all of them are bad. But they're all awesome, right? Because someone has gone ahead and people have modded in new campaigns for free space 2 or for the free free space 2 engine and it's incredible so for example let's take a look at this aftermath here thing this is uh years of gti okay uh, requires the descent free space and silent threat um uh da, 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 quarantine i mean I don't, I don't know anything about this one let's not look at that one because i don't know anything about that one. let's actually find one that i'm actually familiar with uh well of course there's the Babylon project Game set in the Babylon 5 TV show universe, and you can see it, in fact, has all of the models and stuff, and uh, it's got all of these um, campaigns and single missions. It's kind of fucking fantastic. Um, there is uh, the Battle of Neptune. I don't know anything about this one either. It's fully voice acted. It is DGVA 13th Battle Group. Operation Fortune is beginning to unravel. Defections paralyze the GTVA 14th battle group as the true nature of the reunion is laid bare. Uh, so you experience the first major battle of the war in heaven through GTVA eyes for the first time. And uh, it is, uh, yeah, so there's all of that. Uh, let's see, the best of FS1 collection. Blue Planet. Oh, Blue Planet. Uh, this is apparently is a pretty good one. 50 years ago, the Shivans devastated our worlds and cut us off from Earth. 18 years ago, we struck back and met disaster. Our economy in shambles. Our people ready to revolt. We once again find ourselves on the edge of extinction. Now, in search of hope, we look to our home. The DG GTVA 14th Battle Group will spearhead the effort to reestablish contact with Earth. The free space story continues. Join us. 
50 missions, right? And then War in Heaven. Okay, so that's what the other one is sort of the flip side of this. Blue, Blue Planet complete. And uh, then uh, there is Blue Planet 2. The Battle Captains. Ah, it's just, it's insane. It's just absolutely bonkers how much of this stuff is in here. Got some cockpit mods that you can install for Free Space 1 and Free Space 2. Uh, I don't know if you can layer multiple mods together, so uh, I've, I haven't tried. I don't know. I've never even checked. There's just too much here for me to even think about it. Um, let's see. Where... Where's the, oh, Diaspora. There's a good one. It's set in the Battlestar Galactica universe. This is another one that we're going to do at some point. That's cool, right? Dusk Wars Act 1. This is an old... Okay, so it's not currently done. Uh, there's not a current version, but hey, there it is. Uh, Dusk Wars Act 2. Exiles into the dark waters. What if everything you have to save your home is not enough? Don't know anything about these, like I said, but... Come on now. Who doesn't want to play space games, right? Free Space Turquoise. Modified version of the Free Space 2 campaign based on Free Space Blue from Blue Planet. Okay. Ghosts of Valor. Homesick. Terrans and Vasudans. Yep, so this is in the same universe. We've got... Oh, yeah, the... Uh, uh, mod packs for Derelict. Free Space, all these things. Just this this particular um, jaded whoever uh, set of mods for free space open, which bind together on their mods available in the community into a single cohesive package. Okay, so there we go. It includes all of these. That's fun. Wow. All right. Blue Planet complete. Here we go. This one uh, does the same thing for Blue Planet. Looks like. All right. Wing Commander one ship pack. Free Space Open New Path, Operation Cloak and Dagger. I don't know anything about any of these, but seriously, come on now. Realistic flight stats for Diaspora per dogfight for nervous and modern gameplay. Okay, that's fucking cool. For the Diaspora game that was all the way at the top. Renegade Resurgence. This is a release of the Nova Upgrade Project. Okay, uh, as a new campaign, 29 missions. This just, like I said, it's just, there's just so much here. And uh, we're going to do a bunch of it. Uh, not all of it, because I, I honestly I don't know a lot about a lot of these. So we're just going to do the ones that look appealing to me. Oh, yeah, this one. Wing Commander. Uh, this is a recreation of a set of demo Wing Commander 4 missions. That's cool. Wing Commander Saga. There's another one. It's I guess it was it was released in last updated last May, so it's definitely still getting work, uh, worked on on it. I mean, this is just amazing. Anyway, yeah. So that's Nosos. So if you have Free Space Two from GOG, ideally, you can download the Nosos launcher, install it. It will do all of you, all of what it needs to do to get FS Open installed, and then you just go into Explorer and you download what you want. My recommendation, of course, for the for the first thing you want to do is you want to get a free space port so that you can play free space one. The free FS port media VPs for free space one and then the free space upgrade media VPs. This is the one for free space two. So those are the those are the, the four that are the three that you really, really need just straight up. Uh, and then all the other ones that you might want to do. What's this one here? Going back to the roots of the franchise, this mod brings the ships and weapons of the Descent series into the Free Space Open engine. Oh, that's cool, because the, the developers of Descent Free Space 1, uh, the Great War, made Descent. And the reason it was called Descent Free Space is because they wanted to kind of tie them together, but it's not really, like, it really isn't the same thing. Uh, so this just brings in some of the Descent ships. That's fun. Um, anyway, yeah. So uh, I'm just going on and on and on. Ooh, what's this? The Fasudan Imperium. Oh boy, this is the story of the Great War from a Fasudan perspective. What? Covers Act One of the Free Space Campaign. I I can't even. That's amazing. Yeah, there you go. This is just bonkers. How cool this is. Uh, oh, Cataclysm. Oh, I don't know anything about Cataclysm. I think I think I've read about something about this being really good. I don't I don't know for sure. 
Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to leave it. When we come back, I'm going to do it as a new uh, a new series, a new Let's Play Poorly. We're going to do the Babylon Project. And uh, we're going to play around in that universe for a little while and then eventually come back to Free Space 2. But for now, thanks for watching. See you next time.